Well, I hope you enjoyed that sunrise. I had to take a sip of water there for a moment. And I know I pointed this out last episode, but if you look at the sign, uh, from reading from left to right, and that looks like the Japanese character Ko, with the two lines on top of it sort of being the diacritical marks that make it Ko instead of Ko. Then the line in the middle uh, being the, or neck to the right of it, the lo- just the straight line being indicating a long vowel. And then the character to the left, it almost looking like the uh, katakana character Ru. So it looks like it's saying Goru. I know for anyone who doesn't understand Japanese, that probably just flew over your head. And you're probably wondering what the hell I just said, especially when I said like diacritical mark or something like that. Uh, I believe that's how you say it at least. But basically, the point is, it really does look like it says Goru. I really like that uh, sort of attention to detail. It's neat. And definitely done intentionally. But today, we are setting sail. Oh, right. And also, intro. Hello, Kokomi here. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Last time, we went around this little corner of the Great Sea in search of stuff. Uh, and today, we're going to be heading west. To some special islands. Maybe ones we've seen before, maybe not. And if you're wondering about my berry cat, ooh, I believe that's a Georg, uh, shark enemy. What they'll do is they'll, and then they'll come at you like that. Uh, come on, come here. I dare you. That's right. You can take him out with your, uh, you can take him out pretty easily with the boomerang. But yes, they're essentially sharks. They'll sort of like try and get ahead of you and then charge at you. You can try and move out of the way, jump over them, or you can just shoot them down. Uh, but yes, I believe we are at, if I remember correctly, uh, the name of this island. It is Angular Island. I was actually thinking of a different island. But nonetheless, this is where we are. I am actually somewhat prepared this time, believe it or not. Uh, somewhat prepared because... Yes. So what we want to do is... There are two things we want to do here. First thing we want to do is come to the other side of this island. And I feel like it's appropriate to bring it up now because this island sort of reminds me of it, but there was concept art of a GameCube island. And if I remember, I'll put a picture of it of, of it up on screen. But with that sort of concept art of the GameCube island and what it would have been, this island sort of reminds me of that. Maybe that's just because of the blocky way this island is, but yeah. What we want to do is we want to come to this giant island and just come around here. I believe we have to push this. It's a sort of like a mini puzzle. I like this island. It's just kind of a nice out there island. And I love the, the noises Link makes when he pushes and pulls blocks. Uh, if you can hear. He goes like, inky, inky. I don't know. I find it funny. Uh... Oh, hello, uh, I did not expect, expect, expect a blue choo-choo right there. Uh, but yes, go ahead and get our blue choo jelly. That is always important. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I grabbed onto the ledge. I'm so glad I grabbed onto the ledge right there. Well, I need to get this up, so... And while I'm thinking about it, because if I learned anything about myself, it's that I need to do stuff while I'm thinking about it, or else I will completely forget. That's why I managed to not record for such a long time. We're going to set the wind to go that way. That That's good enough. We can make it work. We want to grab this chest, and I'm sure you know what we're going to do next afterwards. Uh, We're going to open this chest. I said open it. Thank you. And funny enough, the next part isn't actually in my notes, but I feel being, I feel like being a bit adventurous. So what we're going to do, and yes, there's another piece of heart, is come over here to this smaller island. I don't know what's in here, so it'll be a surprise to me and hopefully a surprise to you unless you know this game like the back of your head. I know exactly what we need to do for this and we don't have the right item. Well... At least it wasn't too much of a diversion? Question mark? I forgot to start my timer again. This is really awkward. Uh, and nice, I just 
I staked the landing on that. Uh, so what we want to do is, I believe, where is it? This one. Treasure chart number 15. It's right next to us. Funny how I said we're actually going to go with just, oh, I'll just do these in the insulate like I did the goddess cubes. But honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm wondering how am I going to approach it. I haven't completely decided, which probably isn't... No. Bad. Bad shark. Bad. Uh... Well, that shark can just wait in time frozen for a minute. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to approach these treasure charts and whatnot, which is kind of bad considering I'm already in the middle of the series. Uh, but yes, with that we get another piece of heart. Yeah, we're just... Go. Uh, alright, come on. I dare you. I dare you. I will boomerang you. Come here. Wait. Wait, why are there so many... I couldn't use... I was pressing X, that's why. Uh... Ha, X, that's why, because... Why? Uh... Hey! There's another shark coming right towards us. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, what the heck? There's so many sharks! It's four now, what? Uh... That was really weird, but okay, we're heading in the right direction, and I also want to get my, uh, bait back out. Uh, we might need to buy some more bait soon, and good thing because I have a lot of money that I need to spend somewhere. But actually, what are we, what we are going to do next is, if I can... Oh, hey, we got this. I believe it's a little, like, a little small minigame, so we go through that, and we get rewarded with the rupee. Hooray, it gives us something to do in the meantime. Uh, we don't want to head to that C platform, we don't want to go to this area, but what we want to do is first we're going to go get the fish man to paint our chart with his amazing painting skills. Yeah, that's close enough. But we're looking for something very specific. Uh, so I mentioned before when sailing that if you see a group of seagulls, uh, to not go towards it, because that indicates something that we don't want to mess with yet. But actually, we want to head towards it. We're looking for a group of seagulls now. Also, yes, two by reef. There are six of these reefs that are based on the side of dice. Uh, and I wasn't even paying attention to his uh, little thing, uh, his spiel. But what we are looking for specifically now is a group of seagulls. Because, believe it or not, we can finally do something with that group of seagulls. We don't have to just avoid it needlessly like we've done in the past. Uh, the thing is, I have to actually find it. So, with that, fast forward powers do your magic? Wait. Yeah, fast forward powers do your magic. Okay, I see it. How the heck did I miss it? Wow. Okay. So, you see this group of seagulls. When we could approach it... Ta-da! We're in a whirlpool and a giant octo comes up. So what we want to do is we want to pull out our boomerang and just start going crazy. And this is going to be interesting without... Uh, there are multiple big octos like this throughout the Great Sea, each with a varying number of eyes. This is the weakest of the octos with only four eyes. And they don't really attack you, but you're on a time limit because once you hit the center, it's going to essentially swallow you up and spit you out somewhere else in the Great Sea. And we don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, it's going to take several hits with the boomerang. There will be an easier way to take out its eyes later. But we are not... Actually, that point's coming up very soon. But we, again, we are not at that point. Which is why we're not taking on the other uh, big octos. But yes, once you see its eyes glow like that, that means you've taken it out. I believe the biggest is a 32 big eyed octo. Which is a lot of eyes, so you can imagine. Jeez, 32. You can't even imagine what it's like to have more than two eyes. But our reward is a great fairy. Oh, waker of the winds. Thanks to you, I have been freed from that beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. I love how excited and happy he looks, but yes, our magic power has increased. We now have twice the magic meter, and we get it this early in the game, or like pretty soon after getting the uh, uh, magic meter. Though it was the same way in Majora's Mask, you could upgrade it pretty quickly after getting the magic meter. 
uh, whoops, the, the controller against my desk for some reason. Uh, but next thing we want to do is come to this island, which is just west of where we were. Uh, hopefully we can find a fish man of some sort. Uh, but what we actually want to do is get a Hioi pair. Yes, we're finally going to make use of these nightmarish looking pairs. Uh, but first I want to find the fish man. There he is. Fish man, come here. Educate me with your chart writing techniques. Boy, small fry. Yeah, and then he's just going to uh, work his magic. Uh, and with that, we have now discovered Headstone Island. What do you have to say about this island? Say, fra small fry, there's a really heavy stone head blocking a cave on the island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Eh, let me tell you a great secret. If you go north four squares and east three squares of Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Uh, and we've actually been by that um, island before. In fact, we even have it here, Fire Mountain. As the name implies, it's kind of a blaze at the moment. If we try to get on it, we will literally burn to death. So, I highly recommend not going there right now, but maybe one day. We'll have to keep that advice in mind. Uh, but what we want to do is... Uh, first of all, I want to see if I can get these rupees. Can I just walk up here? I don't know. I'm going to try. Nope. I thought it was... It, yeah, it look, that is definitely more wall-like than I thought. It looked a lot less steep from the distance. But what we want to do is we want to get a Huey there. And with that, we can now possess seagulls. Uh, with that, you want to start mashing A. And when you... I believe it's you want to mash A? Yeah, the mashing A essentially lets you flap your wings, which you can use to gain height. Also by holding back on the analog stick. And yes, you can see already there is another piece of hearts. We're just rolling in these things. Uh, and there's also some money to, for us to get, but we're full on rupees at the moment. And I love the, uh, look on Link's face. When he's controlling the sequels, like, he has his hands going, oh. But yes, that's all we can really do here right now, it, unless you want to get more rupees. Or rupees, as I've heard some people call them. Uh, though I'm pretty sure they call that, I called it that for a joke. I'm gonna get my DQ leaf out. And we can see it just beyond here is home. It's been so long. We haven't been here since the beginning of the game. I wonder how everyone's doing. We have Link's grandma. We have all the uh, people that, whose names I don't remember. We have Snotnose Kid. No Snotnose Kid. Wouldn't it be nice if we just stopped and talked to them for a bit? See how they're doing? Well yeah, too bad. We're not going back to this island just yet. Hooray for ruining the mood! Instead, we are going to go uh, west of the island. You can see uh, that we have one more square just west of here. So what could possibly be so interesting that we'd forsake our own family? But don't worry, we'll be back to outside island soon enough. In fact, we have to come back there at some point, believe it or not. But, really? So, say goodbye to outset, but don't worry, we'll be back in the not too distant future. For right now, I see sea platforms to raid. <laughs> Time to summon my inner pirate. Oh, these also have bombs. So the reason I've been sort of avoiding these... I just heard that. That was one of those birds and they're getting shot by the cannons. You can hear their scream. No, don't disappear. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't hit it just right. And there's the ruby from the other one. What the heck? Well then, their cannons are really good at shooting things in the air. I guess they're good anti-air cannons at the very least. But now we're going to go up and raid these guys. And I, I should also have my grappling hook to steal their stuff. 
And oh, I was hoping you. <laughs> uh, actually, I have. I want to try something. So, so what I'm going to do is. Oh, you can't blow the enemies off the cliff. I was hoping you could do that. That's like a Breath of the Wild thing you can do. Uh. Ooh, a chest appears over there. I have no idea what's in this chest, but it's probably either a joy pendant or twenty rupees. That is my bet. Uh, because I am a lazy bones and don't want to sail over there. Instead, I'm going to alter the direction of the wind. And... Uh, that's not exactly the direction I wanted to go, but it's good enough. Hooray! Screwing over every sailor in the world by changing the direction of the winds because we're lazy. Uh, oh, it's trying to shoot us. Uh, well, that failed miserably, but it's fine. Alright, it's fine. Hopefully we will we'll not be shot down while climbing this platform. I'm watching you, other platform. Uh, looks like we're just out of range, though. Oh, yes, with that. Man, see, I can do that too. Man, okay, fine. Uh. Oh, okay. I I was. I thought boomerangs one shot it, but when it didn't uh, take it out initially, uh. I wasn't sure, but hey, let's get you up, excuse me, and I got you, come on, man, see, I can make that noise too, uh, but with that, we have another switch, which makes a chest appear on the other, ooh, that is a spiky chest, I wonder what's in that, well, first we'll check this one, watch it be like or an orange ruby, and I can't actually use it, ooh, a golden feather, I do have to say, I really like how the uh, winged feather looks. According to the description, winged girls loved it, and I like the look of the winged feather. Does that make me a winged girl? Don't read too much into that. But then again, that's just what I have to say about everything now, isn't it? Uh, but since we are lazy bums, we're going to change the wind on a whim again. <laughs> okay. That... <laughs> This is probably the most entertaining I've ever seen the cannons are like act in this game. It even took out one of the cannons for us. Jeez. Yeah, you can see that cannon just gone. All right, well let's see what's in this treasure chest. Oh boy. And with that, we get a treasure chart. I have no idea what treasure chart number this is because I didn't even have it in my notes. Uh oh boy. Well, hopefully you'll see that on screen, that it just means I have to do more research off screen. But what we want to do is we want to get back on our boat. And head towards the island. And also get, what we want to do is get our remaining bit of bait out. And we also want to deco leaf for this next part, we're going to need it. Uh, we have our friends here, the salvaging, our salvaging friends, but we're going to ignore them because I have other things to do. And we're going to go see our old friend, the Fishman. It's been a whole five minutes, buddy. A whole five minutes. Uh, what time are we at for this episode? Okay, we're probably like 20 minutes in or so? I sort of have to guess. Maybe closer to 19 minutes. I don't know. You'll, you guys will know. You can literally just like move the mouse or something. Or maybe if you're watching on tablet, poke the screen. I actually watch a lot of my YouTube videos on tablet. Uh, it's that's how I mainly watch my videos, uh, or not just my videos, but all videos. And I know I've I've talked to someone uh, who watches his videos mainly on the Wii U screen. And yeah, uh, hello, uh, Sea Hat. You want to try me, buddy? Uh. Actually, funny enough, my uh, sister also primarily, she watches Crunchyroll on her Wii U a lot. So, this looks just like a normal island, right? And you do you walk up in the tentacles of doom. Yeah. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get uh, far enough away. And we want to... At well then, that failed miserably. Uh... Ooh, the, oh, it's right there. Yeah, so when the ball gets into the hole, it'll make the tentacles disappear. 
this is essentially golf. It's a golf mini game. I actually really like it. I think it's really creative and neat. And thankfully, I think these do regrow. Uh, and thankfully, you can just sort of throw them through. I don't think I'm at a good angle for this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it here. And watch it completely miss. Alright, fall into the ocean so you can respawn. Please. Yep. Okay, so we gotta line ourselves up. Uh, you can see it's a bit tougher now because the angle is messing with us a bit. I believe eventually they will just rot away and allow us to... Hello, Sea Hat. It's just like, I'll get you when you come back out here. Uh, but yes, so let's go ahead and hmm, let's try setting it here. I keep pressing A to set stuff down. I keep forgetting in this game specifically, A is always throw. Uh, uh, not boomerang. Uh, don't, don't move my nut, please. Don't read too much into that statement either. Uh, okay, we got this. Come on. Nope. Okay, maybe I need to get it a little more this way then? Because it looks like it's veering to the left a little. I didn't mean to throw it, but that'll work. Wait! Yes, it worked! We did it! We did it! And that nut's about to die. Goodbye, nut. Oh, hey, there's a random guy there. Oh. Oh, and in this one, we have to actually... We can't just bring a nut up here, but rather we have to line ourselves up. And blow it into the hole. I wonder if the wind direction affects this. I'm a little curious. I'm going to change the wind direction really quick and see if that actually changes anything. Because theoretically this should influence it to the right a bit, a bit, a little bit. No? Well, at least it's not regrows really fast. Uh, no, it still looks like it's just veering to the left a little, a bit. A little bit, or a biddle, as I, I, I'm i going to make that a phrase I've coined now. It is mine, don't steal it. Uh, oh, come on, that was right there. Uh, well, screw you, golf course. I got this. Nope, never mind. I tried to cheat, and the cheating committee said, no, don't cheat. And so I couldn't cheat. I tried, though. I tried my hardest. Uh, let's take one of these. I'm gonna take a nut from up here because it won't rot as fast. Or, well, it'll rot the same amount, but it will be better for longer because I don't have to travel as far. Excuse me. I just, I was just talking about how rare you were last episode, and look at that. You're already just. Uh, wait. Oh my god, I wasn't even trying with that. But hey, we did it. I'll take it. And with that, a chest also appears. So even if we did try to cheat the system, yeah, they have some anti-cheating measures in place. Uh, but let's talk to you. You you look like an interesting fellow. <laughs> I love that uh sound clip so much. Well then. Uh, what is he staring off at? We have a telescope of our own. Not, or, he said he had a kaleidoscope. This is ours is a telescope. Uh, generally, these guys are always pointing to something which you can find out in the Great Sea somewhere. Uh, but I don't see anything of interest. I mean, there's the sea hat. Maybe there's those guys. Maybe you're spying on them. But with that, we want to go ahead and grab this treasure chest, and with that we're going to change the wind direction on a whim again, because we like messing with the world like that. I thought I had the DQ Leaf equipped to X. I've been trying to equip the DQ Leaf to X because that's also how you bring the paraglider out in Breath of the Wild, and yeah, I figured if muscle memory is just going to do that to me, then... I'll just have the DQ Leaf equipped to X since it's like the paraglider, before the paraglider was a paraglider, and yeah. 
So, let's try this again. With that, we get another treasure charge! Hooray! Uh, and with that, we're going to change the wind direction on a complete other whim again. Because, in the opposite direction, because, you know, screw you sailors, we, we have a hole to get to. Uh, I don't remember if we can actually do anything with this right now. Uh, I know we are a bit over time, but I'm actually going to have this episode go a bit longer, because there's so little... Hello. Uh. Ooh. Oh, whoa, okay, I don't have a fairy, so I have to be really careful here. Uh. Jeez, stop getting hit. Okay. Alright. Okay, we got our bearings. And we'll just get you. Die, please. Thank you very much. I'd prefer it if you died. Uh, I don't actually remember what these guys give. They give golden feathers? Where's their feathers? Alright. Oh, and that's it. I took a lot of damage in that, but it's fine. I did not expect this in the slightest. Uh, so I know this episode's going a bit longer than normal, but there's so little we have to do before we can just go back to story progress. And so I'd rather just finish it this episode than- ooh, another treasure chart. Uh, then just wait and handle it next episode so we can just focus on story progress next episode. So with that, this episode's going to go quite a bit over time. I'm sorry for anyone who really likes the normal time and like sets aside a specific amount of time to watch this, uh, because I know that can be annoying when the game just go suddenly goes off schedule and oh right, I messed with the wind direction. Well, I'm too lazy to change it again, so you looked out this time, sailors. I will mess with your wind directions another. Di wow, he almost hit us. Uh, but with that, we want to head north one. Uh, two. Uh, I believe this is... Yes, okay, and with this we're also going to want a Hyoi pair for this next part. So, make, so, get your Hyoi pairs ready. I don't have any bait, that's kind of awkward actually. Uh, well, because I don't have any bait, I believe this is Diamond Step Island. No, this is, that was Diamond Step Island. Was it? Don't make a fool of me, game. Uh, hold on. Nope. Uh, no, it's Horseshoe Island. Funny, I had that written down as Diamond Step Island. This is, I'm willing to bet this is Diamond Step Island. And, of course, there's a fishman there, and I can't do anything about it. And in the highland up above that is, I believe... Yes, okay, so what we are going to do is... Oh wait, nope, never mind. Wow, I was just misreading my notes. So what we are going to get right now, uh, is not that. Uh, but rather, I believe it is, which one? It is... Number 23. Oh, nope, we passed it. We passed it. Yes, but you can see right there, there is another one. This is Diamond Step Island. Okay. Uh, that's definitely not it right there. Alright, so it should be to our right from here. A blink, please. Nope. Yeah, okay. So we're going to move this way a bit. And salvage. And no. Salvage? There we go. And with that, as a reward for getting treasure chart number tre or treasure chart chest number 23, we get another piece of heart. <laughs>
Hey, at least it makes up for the health I just lost. Uh, but with that, we're going to head north again. This time to Needle Rock Island. Uh, yes, we are, we're finally, uh, and thankfully I have the names of these islands written down, so even though I don't have the bait to show you it on the C chart, which I, I can just go ahead and fill it off screen. Uh, what's with the red circle? Are, are those treasure chests I've salvaged? That'd actually be pretty neat if that was that. I, I've never noticed those red circles before. Yes, but this is the last stop of the episode, so don't worry, we don't have too much longer to go. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to come up here and see that we can hear the birds. They're all the way up there. Oh, except for this one. This one decided to come with us. But hello, here's my boomerang. Goodbye. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to take a Huey pair. And start mashing A as fast as we can, like we're a speedrunner trying to clip through a wall. And uh, try to avoid these birds, because if they hit you, you will lose control of the seagull. And probably one of the funniest fashions, because what will happen specifically is that they will uh, like spin around uncontrollably. In fact, I can just show that right here. Come on. Yeah, so we'll just spin around like... Which I feel kind of bad for the seagull that we left in that safe. And hey, here's another uh, Korok. Yeah, you found me! But with that, we get a chest. We have to hit the switch at the top of that, well, thing that resembles a needle. Hence the name Needle Rock Island. And with that, we get another piece of heart. <laughs> so many pieces of heart. Uh, hello. That's right, that's what you get. Uh... But we can see, over there, just off in the distance, we bring up our map. That's actually where we have to go for story progress. Great Fish Isle. Next time, on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I'm going to go get more bait off screen, so my money count will probably be a bit different. And hopefully my magic will be refilled as now. As, as now, as well. And I'll fill in those two island spots. But with that, our next destination is right over there. It's finally time we get on with the story. Next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, which I'm pretty sure I just said, now I'm being redundant. We head out and get the pearl. King of the Red Lion said to hurry up and we don't know what Ganon could have done, but hey, I'm sure it's fine. Nothing will totally be wrong when we get there, right? Right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.